Okay, gentlemen, 12 rounds for the championship. We went through the rules in the locker room. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Punches here are okay. Punches right here at the top are okay. Any questions? My question. Touch gloves, good luck. Here we go, Freddie. Bruce, Paul, you ready? Pacquiao trained by the veteran Freddie Roach, former protege of the great Eddie Futch, regarded by some as one of the very greatest of all modern trainers. Eliezer Julio, a part of the stable of uh, Ricardo Maldonado, who sent many top fighters into the ring. Box. Maldonado was also the manager of Agapito Sanchez, who fouled Pacquiao so ruthlessly in San Francisco, and Freddie Roach said to us yesterday, I wouldn't be surprised if Julio tries to do the same doggone thing. Guilt by association, maybe. Or just trying to get Pacquiao ready to be more protected this time, perhaps. Freddie says he would like for Pacquiao to learn to foul a guy back when he fouls him, but Pacquiao's two sportsmen like to do so, he says. Well, I can't imagine anyone fouling me when I were fighting that many times, me not like get one back, uh, so this must be a real good kid. Big left hand by Pacquiao. Julio stops him in his tracks there with a left hand counter. Both fighters using their jabs early, and uh, I think Pacquiao has already gotten some of Julio's respect for his power. I think so. You can see that Julio has got a concerned look on his face. You can see a little bit of strain in his eyes when he gets hit with some of those punches. Pacquiao can punch. When you come up to 122 from 118 and you get Manny Pacquiao in your third fight in the division, you may be biting off something more than you can chew. But Julio has a lot of knowledge and a lot of crap. Oh, big left hand by Pacquiao. And he got countered by a nice left hand counter by Julio. Sometimes the first couple of punches might rock you, but then you taste the power and sort of get used to it, right, Bobby? Well, you know, there are times that you can sort of adjust to it, but if you get caught one of those and you're not looking, I'll tell you what, your legs come right out from under you. When I catch you looking, boy, oh boy, it hurts so much more. Pacquiao with a body shot after missing with the wild right hand. You can see what a big hitter Pacquiao wants to be. Throws every punch with aggressive intention. Julio, a little bit more of a change-up artist, and holding his own now after a rough first minute. One of the things, there's a beautiful straight left hand by Pacquiao, but one of the things that's helping Julio is that jab. It's all setting the combinations of Pacquiao. Put your head. Put your head. Pacquiao saying it was an elbow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep up. And there's a low blow. So already an elbow and a low blow from Julio making contact with Pacquiao, and that's exactly what Freddie Roach suggested he thought might be the case. punch that hard as Pacquiao is. It takes a lot of energy to start those punches. Oh, that's a huge left hand shot. Oh, no, 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 no. And the right hand don't shot. Knock down, don't knock down. Don't pull him down, Manning. And I was saying it takes a lot of energy to start those punches. If you don't hit something, it takes the same down. amount of energy to Ten stop seconds. them. And you could get prematurely fatigued. You have to make those punches. Hit something. Body shot by Pacquiao. Julio seems a little bit flustered by Manny's power. Ah! And the first round comes to a close. Okay. Okay. And when we go to Manny Pacquiao's corner, where they may speak some Tagalog. Our interpreter is Ernie Kalu. Okay. <laughs> All right, rinse it out. Okay, Manny. Now here, I want you to use a jab a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. All right. You you a little bit wide with your punches. Tell him not to pull his head down. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. You a little bit wide with your punches. Okay. I want you to go behind the double jab. You watch the combination. Pacquiao winds up throwing a left hand underneath, which is very good. But then his arm winds up getting wrapped around his head. You see it? That's the call of no knockdown when Julio went to the canvas. Now round two begins. Another straight left hand by Pacquiao. And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. It was a perfect execution of what he was told in the corner. Double jab and throw the left hand. He did it. Look what we see. The kid listens. Hey, come to me. Bueno. Freddie Roach told him to go in behind the double jab and followed him with the left hand. He did it twice in a row in the second one. Drop Julio. This is some prospect, Bobby. To me, he's every bit as exciting as Prince Nassim Hamed. He really is. He can punch. He can take a punch. He's aggressive. And he loves to fight. You okay? Second knockdown of Julio. No three knockdown rule in effect. I think Julio's going to have trouble finishing this round. I really do. Julio trying to fight his way back. 
A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again. And Bill Clancy's seen it up. Devastating second round TKO for Manny Pacquiao. What a comeback from the misfortune of San Francisco. Very, very impressive against a fighter who is not that easy to beat. It's not easy to dominate. That I can tell you. I think the most impressive thing was exactly what you pointed out. Freddie Roach calmly said, double jab, and then follow with the left hand. He did it. He did it in the first 10 seconds, hit him good, followed up with it, and dropped him, and that was the beginning of the end for Julio. This is for your family. The whole world, son. This is for your family. Thank you, Lord. Pacquiao feeling as though a great weight has been lifted from his shoulders. He was so disappointed by the technical draw in San Francisco. How one of the judges there had scored the fight with Sanchez in front remains an enduring small mystery of our sport. But all of that erased now as he blows away a good veteran fighter in Jorge, Jorge Eliezer Julio. That's what we call going back to your corner, getting the advice, and making the adjustments instantly. He made the necessary adjustments. He came out and literally blew the wheel out of there. He's dominant at 122. The money would be at Barrera, Morales, and various other good fighters. Here are the knockdowns, Bobby. First knockdown, the jab. That was the second jab with the straight left hand. And here comes the second. Again, the accumulation factor becoming a factor. Banging him to the body, staying on top of the body, and then up top again with the straight left hand behind the jab. Eventually, the referee's going to come in here. It's just teeing off on Julio, and Pacquiao definitely, definitely wins this fight at Preston. Pacquiao so quick, so aggressive, and hurt Julio so much in the first minute of the round that time. You know, I don't know if that was just because he was so hurt or he just wasn't thinking or he just not the type of guy to do that, but he needed to hold on. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the Pacquiao TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bill Clancy has to step in and call a halt to this bout. The official time, one minute, nine seconds of round number two. The winner by TKO victory and still the IBF junior featherweight champion of the world, Manny the Destroyer Pacquiao.